were new, it was certainly an education for me. How much would you say this film, how much do you expect this film also to be an education for, for Indian, or Indian audiences as well? Well, you'll be surprised that uh, most of the people in India are not fully aware of the, uh, the, the real substance about this whole struggle which is going on right in the belly of India where, in fact, as on today, almost 200 districts in the central Indian region uh, of what we call the forests of Dandakaranya, uh, spanning from North Karnataka, going right up to Bengal, and spanning into states like Chhattisgarh, Maharashtra, Odisha, Andhra Pradesh, Bengal, and Bihar. The we usually in in India the news the way the newspapers report or the way the perception is that these. Naxalites are some kinds of terrorists. The social impact, the social reasons, the social, um, you could say, implications of this whole movement is not fully understood. Although the government is struggling, and uh, in fact, uh, just about a year ago, the Prime Minister of India in Parliament made a statement saying that Naxalism is the gravest internal security problem the country has been facing since independence. And at this point of time, as we speak here, almost 100,000 armed um, police, CRPF and military and Air Force are constantly battling thousands of armed guerrillas who have not let any kind of development work happen in these areas. Uh, all the mining work and the industrial uh, kind of exploitation is is being resisted. And it, the psyche of this development has spilled over from the jungles to our industrial areas and even our universities. And it's, it is really becoming a huge problem and I think the time couldn't be more right for, for looking into it, for trying to compassionately understand it and solve it. Arjun uh, Rampal, a question for you. you. As I said before, you play Adil 